Welcome back guys. Well I hope everybody's having a great day. Nice and sunny here in the Northwest. I'm responding to an email from a subscriber, Round Chambered, and he mentioned that uh, he really likes the uh, videos I've put up recently, especially would like me to go over the minor first aid kits. He has two small boys and uh, is trying to put some kits together and uh, would like to see what's in the uh, smaller kits. So round chambered, buddy, this is for you. Okay, we're going to do this in two parts. We'll go over the minor first aid kit first and then the pocket first aid kit second. Okay, this is the minor first aid kit that we use in our house. It sits in one of our kitchen cupboards. Pretty easy to grab. It's in a Sterilite, um, I think these are CD cases. They're pretty inexpensive, $1.99 I believe. It has a piece of uh, red electrical tape around the outside edge just to help identify it and minor first aid kit. And that's actually what you see sitting on the shelf. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, when you open it up, now you don't have to put these in plastic bags. It just makes it easier to pull components out and use them and then put them back. So I put them in uh, plastic bags. The first bag has uh, tape and uh, basically there's cloth athletic tape, some perforated or micropore plastic tape. This is just a smaller roll of athletic tape and a small roll of uh, self-adherent stretch tape. Uh, Coban is one name. So that's in that bag. Now this kit gets used a lot for minor scrapes and cuts. So there's a lot of band-aids in here. So two kits of band-aids, the large two by two band-aids, and then half inch, one inch uh, band-aids. And if you pick the ones that have antibiotic ointment already on the pad, that's kind of a good thing. Then you don't have to worry about putting antibiotic ointment on the uh, band-aids. There's a bag of 4x4 four four gauze. This started off, um, I think, two packs of 10, so 20. And we're kind of getting down. I'm going to have to restock that. There's some moleskin. Now, you might say, why do I have moleskin in my minor first aid kit that we use at home? Well, my daughter's a dancer, and so one of the specialized uses I have for me is sometimes she'll come to my wife or myself, and she has a uh, blister on the um, bottom of her foot or on one of her toes from dancing. So it's always good for us to have some moleskin hanging around so we can help take care of her. There's a couple of Telfa or non-adherent pads. Then there's a couple of petroleum gauze pads. Those are also non-adherent. Um, nice alternative to the uh, Telfa. Now all of that rides in this tray which is the bottom of another Sterilite tub. So it just sits in there. Makes it uh, real easy to pull that stuff out if you need to get to the instruments and such that are on the uh, bottom. All right, so that's the top tray. And again, that just sits in the top, easy to pull out. Okay, let's look in the bottom of the kit. One thing that we deal with uh, on a fairly frequent basis for some reason is uh, injuries to fingers and these are some aluminum and foam finger guards that you can get at a pharmacy so there are the type that cover both sides and the type that covers just the bottom and these are good for sprains and strains and if you have a cut over a uh, flexor surface. It's good to immobilize that cut for the first few days and then you don't uh, break it open. All right, there's a tube of antibiotic ointment in there and I think in this type of kit a tube is better than individual packets but you can uh, certainly pick whatever works best for you. This is kind of a multi-use uh, way to go is the way I look at it. Now there's a small pen light. You can put anything you want in there. I just had this sitting in the desk drawer and threw it in there. And once in a while it's good to look in an eye if there's a foreign body. So that's what that's there for. Try and keep all that visible for you guys. 
All right, now the uh, instruments here. So a fingernail clipper, you've seen that in my level two first aid kit. These things are just invaluable to have for various reasons. A pair of banded shears. These are, I think these are four inch banded shears and you can get these at REI and at most uh, pharmacies. And then there's a sharp pair of scissors. I've just found this helpful for um, cutting away a blister that's popped and has a, a, a piece of uh, skin that's flopping on the surface that you can gently trim that away with these. And then tweezers. These are um, another pair of those extra sharp tweezers from REI, but you can get them at any pharmacy. And another pair of blunt tweezers for pulling little splinters, etc. out. And I just take a piece of, um, this is a piece of rubber tubing for a gas line from a chainsaw. Just put that over the top to uh, keep them protected and closed. And then this you probably saw, I have these kind of stashed all around um, in different kits, but uh, this is a small pill bottle that I got from um, Survival Resources. And inside there is a small pair of precision ground splinter tweezers. Again, you can get these at REI or at any online medical supply. And then this is also a nice safe place to keep a a uh, sewing needle and I just protect the tip. I just took a white eraser and cut it in half and stuck the tip in there. These are great for help helping you uh, dig out a pair of splint uh, or I'm sorry dig out a splinter in a finger or something like that. And it's just a nice way to protect that so it's not poking anything. All right guys. Part one complete, that is the minor first aid kit for home. This sits in our kitchen cupboard, quick to grab, and gives you a lot of capabilities for dealing with routine injuries.